Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. In the last episode, we covered most of the things that we hadn't done yet. We've done all the festivals in the game now. We're about as high up with everyone as we can get before the end of the game. And I've sold most of the items at this point. I have a few things left to do real quick, so... Here in the pot, we're gonna boil an egg to get the boiled eggs. Here in the no utensil section, we're gonna use that boiled egg we just made, the bread we made yesterday, the cucumber, the carrot, and the tomato to make the sandwich. And our field is completely plowed and taken care of. We will not be dealing with this field anymore. It has been well taken care of, and should I want to do more with it, I absolutely can. Let's hope the corn's done today. If it is, this is perfect timing. They were still not ready, so I'll have to cover those in the post game. I'm alright and I'm okay, don't need this heart of mine anyway. Just pick up the pieces when you go. Okay, I've done all my chores for the day. So before we do anything exciting and interesting, I'm actually gonna fish here and try to get the last fish. If I can easily get three of them, then I don't have to worry about that anymore. Alright. So, I spent that RP bar, got nothing good, so now we're here. These are called Faust, I believe. Faust. HP 231, attack 172, defense 18. Its attacks are water-based. It can critically hit you, it can seal you, and it absorbs HP based on the damage it deals. If you should tame it, it'll act as a combatant for you. And should you defeat it, you can get a broken hilt or an evil charm. As you may notice, that picture is not the best picture, and that's because I had to redraw that over a different one. These are actually progressively getting harder and harder to find pictures of. We have ground them up for their drops already, so, you know, I already put it on screen right there, and you should know what's going on. If you've watched this far into the series. These are the Orc Lords, I believe. The Orc Lord. HP 247, attack 130, defense 21. Its attacks are earth-based, it can critically hit you, and it can paralyze you. Should you tame one, they will harvest crops for you. And should you defeat one, it can drop quality cloth, silk cloth, and a long sword. This is another case for a redraw. This is probably the most familiar with all the enemies I'm going to be in any dungeon, just because of how much I've had to grind these ones. The Little Emperor, HP 200, attack 99, defense 17. Its attacks are fire-based, it can use the spell Inferno. It can also use water-based attacks and a life absorber. Should you tame one, it will water your crops for you. And should you defeat them, they can drop the magic crystals, the knowledge supplements, and magic earrings. Uh, those ones were the Little Emperors, the final form- oh. Goblin Snipers. HP 216, attack 130, defense 20. It attacks using poison arrows. Should you tame one, it'll harvest your crops for you. And should you defeat one, it'll drop gunpowder. Goblin archer guys? Snipers or whatever? Yeah. Um. Are there any enemies up here? I don't remember. They're on the screen, but they're not here. Which means they're actually down the other path. Deathstalker. HP 224. Attack 124. Defense 22. Its attacks can critically hit you, poison you, and paralyze you. Should you tame one, it'll act as a combatant for you. Should you defeat them, they'll drop Earth Crystals, Scorpion Pinchers, and Terra Elements. 
the Deathstalkers, of course. So, the Little Dragon. HP 240, Attack 162, Defense 22. Its attacks are fire-based, and it can use the Fireball ability. Should you tame one, it will act as a combatant for you. And should you defeat them, they can drop Fire Crystals, Quality Skin, or Emery Flower Seeds, a Phantom Crop. These are little dragons, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure they're marked down to my thing as a mini dragon, but I feel like future entries just call them little dragons. The Hades, also known as the Dark Fairy, depending on which game you're playing. HP 218, Attack 90, Defense 16. Its attacks are water-based, it can seal you, it can cast the Sword Storm spell, as well as the Cure spell. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. And should you defeat them, they can drop Wind Crystals, Fairy Powder, and Arrow Elements. These, I believe, are the Hades. Because they do dark magic. The Goblin Master, HP 250, Attack 141, Defense 22. Its attacks are fire-based, it can critically hit you, and it can poison you. Should you tame one, it'll harvest your crops for you. And should you defeat them, they can drop glue, gunpowder, and leather belts. As a reminder, this is the only source of glue in the game. I actually don't remember the name of that goblin, it's like, Goblin Master or something? What I say right now doesn't matter too much, because, you know, future Gabe's cutting in and doing his little shtick. And that is it. We're here at the final area of the dungeon. And as such, there we go. We're finally here. If you leave the dungeon now, you will not be able to do this again. Like, you will be able to do this again, but you have to destroy every single spawner. It's not like the doors and the other ones where it just opens and then you're good. It's a point of no return. So let's do this. I know that if I go in, there's no turning back. Let's go. Let's finish the game. you fled. Flee? <laughs> Why would we flee when victory's in our sight? But I destroyed your new weapon. There's nothing you can do now. Oh, a tank, yes. <laughs> that was the final piece we needed to complete our plan. The final piece? That's right, and it fit beautifully into our scheme. Hmm. Behold, this is what all our efforts here have been for. No, it can't be. Oh, but it is. This is the Grimoire. That's the Grimoire, but it has horns. Correct. It is one of the Dragon Gods. This is the Earth Dragon. Terrible. So it exists after all. Grimoire is the name of a terrible before its ascension to a divine. Our investigation led us to this cave where we conducted research for years. You mean, you knew the Grimoire is in this cave? Of course, why else would we build such facilities here? But why then did you put shifts in the other caves? <laughs> I suppose you deserve to know. After all, we put them there for you. For me? The Grimoire is still sleeping. Ever since we found it years ago, we haven't been able to awaken it. But finally, our research revealed that only the Chosen Earthmate can rouse the Grimoire. The Chosen Earthmate? Now do you understand, Raguna? The Chosen Earthmate is you. Me? You played right into our hands. You best. You battled numerous shifts, monsters, and you cultivated the dungeons. All the while, a portion of the rune energy you amassed was funneled into the grimoire. Thanks to you, we have gathered enough rune energy to bring the grimoire to the verge of awakening. You mean all the fighting and cultivation I did in the dungeons? Yes, it was all staged by us. You played your part even better than we hoped you ever could. No. You may not have noticed, but you're clearly different from all the other Earthmates. That's why we monitored you, waiting all the while for the right chance. All the while? How, exactly how long have you been waiting? Did you know me before? Of 
course. After all, we were the ones who erased your memory. What? In order to awaken the Grimoire, we needed you to live in this town. But honestly, would you have moved here if we had it told you the reason? Of course. So we used to... I read that wrong. So we used a slightly unorthodox method. We used medicines to erase your memory and placed you near this town. Everything after that proceeded like clockwork. You settled down in this town. After all, what else were you going to do? You had no memory, no place to go. Then you cultivated all the caves and continued to build up rune energy to awaken the Grimoire. Then in Danan Cave, you destroyed our new weapon. That was the trigger that awoke the Grimoire. Everything went exactly as planned. <laughs> Makuna. Please, tell me one thing. Who am I? Why bother asking? There's no way for you to recover your memory. Even so, I want to know. It appears I've talked too long. The time has come. The time? Time for the awakening. <laughs> Oh no, the Grimoire. It woke up. Now the world belongs to the Empire. Now the Grimoire is awake, I have no more use for you. In appreciation for your help, I shall grant you the honor of being the first slain by a dragon god. Mist, get out of here. But... I'm the one responsible for waking this thing, so it's my responsibility to send it back to its world. Alright. Terrible. The Dragon God of Earth. HP 2600. Defense and Magic Defense of 12. All Element Defense of 60%. When flying in the sky, it can shoot lightning bolts down that will chase you. When it is on the ground, it can shoot fireballs in front of it, it can tail whip around it, or it could use its breath attack, which can poison you. During the second phase of the battle, it is a lot faster and there's less opportunities to get hits in without being hit yourself. Should you not be high level, be very careful of its breath attack, as well as its lightning ability during that second phase, as it will follow you with 10 strikes instead of just 3, and I believe it can paralyze you. Should you defeat it, it will not drop anything, like all bosses. And of course, like all bosses, you cannot tame it. This was the final enemy in the entire game. I have learned a lot from doing this. I plan on making the even better version for Rune Factory 2, so I hope you guys appreciate this, and... Let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Back to the battle. Alright. Terrible. He has a lot of different attacks, and I will try to let them all show. I don't know how strong he is compared to how strong I am currently. So, you know. This should be fun. Okay. Does a spin attack. He's just kind of a more powerful version of the Grimoire we found, we found back on Mount Gigant. That thing was a potential upgrade to this. Mind you, it probably would have taken a couple thousand years, but... He used his Frost Breath, and I wasn't even on screen to see it. Why it can use Frost Breath, I don't know. Maybe it's more like a bull fire or something. Just more hellfire ring from the sky. Luckily it doesn't hurt too bad. It just has the potential to hit you multiple times, which kinda sucks. Alright. Ow. Yeah, it's like a bull fire. And now it's enraged. Fast mode. Oh, yeah. Well, at least we know I'm powerful, right? And it's down. And I totally never got hurt. <laughs> Terrible has been defeated. It seems the Grimoire returned to the first forest in peace. 
No, it can't be! No one can defeat the Grimoire! I've staked my life on this plan, and now... And now... Lieutenant Commander Lynette, your plan has failed. Y your Royal Majesty! It's a pity. I, too, had hoped the Grimoire Project would succeed. You know the penalty for failure. Yes, Your Majesty. I hereby take my life to atone for the dishonor I've caused my country. Whoa, hold it right there. You have to commit suicide? That's crazy! This, the Empire has no place for incompetent leaders. What kind of crazy talk is that? Lynette's plan has failed. She cannot return to her country. She must either die here honorably, to have fulfilled her obligation, or die a dog's death later. If she has no place to return to, then she can live in this town. Don't be a fool. Lynette tried to kill you, remember? That doesn't matter anymore. The war is over. Nothing good can come of hurting you even more people. Oh, but the war is not over. In fact, it has only just begun. What? Lynette's failure merely means we must execute our secondary plan. That is the nature of war. Your secondary plan? The Empire's main d tank division is on the move. Your skill in defeating the Grimoire is impressive, but we'll be able to stop over 100 tanks. 100? By now, they should already be in the formation and well on their way to this town. <laughs> and to answer your question, yes, I could totally beat 100 tanks. I I'm, I'm not even, you know, talking for myself. I have the items necessary to keep myself going, and I could absolutely obliterate those tanks. It would just take me a day. What are we going to do? We don't have any choice. We must evacuate the town. Right. We have to hurry back to town and evacuate everyone. Right. What is your choice, Lieutenant Commander? I... I... Please, come with us. You can help explain the situation to the others. If you tell them, they're sure to believe us. Very well. At any rate, split up and inform the townsfolk of the situation so they can make preparations to flee. Okay, I got it. Yeah, understood. I mean... I can't believe the Empire are really on the attack. Rakuna, you have to help! Rakuna, is it true that the tanks from the Empire are closing in on this town? Yes, it is true. Pop says he refuses to flee. I never knew he had so much courage. I plan to help Pop out too. So the Empire are bringing their tanks, are they? So be it. My place is still by my patience. I hear the Empire are invading. I know it won't be enough, but still, I want- I will fight. Raccoon, are tanks gonna come? Is everybody gonna die? Don't worry. I promise I won't let anything hurt you. Okay, I believe you. Rakuna, is it true the Empire Army is coming to attack? What should we do? What should we do? Can't be serious. Those Empire are on their way here. I'll help fend them off. Now that you have a family, you have something to protect, right? I heard the Empire advanced as far as the border. Really? We've got to keep this town as it is. Yeah. Anyway, first we gotta tell everyone in this town about the impending danger. Thanks to you, everyone knows what's going on. You really helped out. The Empire Army is closing in on the border. There's no time to waste. Okay. Raguna, is it true the Empire plans to attack this town? It's true. Mr. Mayor, please instruct everyone to leave town. Got it. Raguna, their tanks are close to our border. Really? Let's go. We have to buy a little time. Okay. Raguna, is it true the Empire will attack us? Yes, I'm afraid so. You have to protect everyone in this town, no matter what happens. I'll also do what I can. He 
even I couldn't eat those tanks. This isn't a time to choke. We've got to grab all the food we can carry and make preparations to escape. What do you mean the Empire's going to attack us? You've got to do something, Raguna. Relax, I'll help protect the young lady and her father. Mr. Raguna, I'll be praying for your victory. Is the Empire Tank Corps going to attack our town? I'm afraid so. Alright, Doc and I will be ready to help the injured. Thank you. I'm just going to be really tired afterwards, and also there's definitely no one living there. It's important to stay calm at times like this. That's fair. Is it really true that the Empire are invading? Raguna, it all comes down to this. You've got to protect this town. I won't let the Empire set foot in this town. I mean, she was the one saying that she would kick them out herself, so... You cut the Empire tank in two with me own sword eye. Yes, with your sword. That was the thing that happened. I didn't remodel it to hell and back. Don't die on me, Raguna. I'll be so lonely. I'm not worried. You can take out those Empire tanks for us, right, Raguna? Raguna, your only hope. I beg you to protect the future of the children here. Well, we're still down a few people. Um, not sure where those people would be right now. Maybe up in the plaza? Yes. Looks like the Empire are coming. I'm not worried because you're here. Is it true the Empire are coming to invade this town? Poets aren't so good in war. Sharon's not up here, which means she may still be over by the ruins, which is a very dangerous place to be currently. We know where the border is, I showed it off in the first few episodes, but before we go over there... Hey Sharon, you're the final person. I didn't actually realize it'd give me that message. I won't let the Empire lay one finger on these ruins. Respectable, but they're the reason the shifts are there, so they've already done that. Sorry, Sharon, but you failed in that regard. It's okay, though. We'll stop them from coming any further. Or at least, we'll try to. They've come this far. Let's be the ones to stop them. No! How can there be so many? There's no end to them. What are we gonna do? I'll try to buy some time. But, Raguna, you won't stand a chance. I have this feeling inside, like, this is what I'm here for. To protect everyone. Even if it means my life, I know it sounds strange. Raguna, I'm going with you. Ivan. Oh. Didn't I tell you? I know I may not look it, but I'm actually quite good with a sword. Thanks. Come on, let's go. What's that? An earthquake? No, look at the sky! That shadow should look familiar. What is that? It's huge! Here it comes again.
That's terrible. So that's the Grimoire's Evolved form. Looks at the size of it. What, what they say about it having enough power to destroy the world might be true after all. Look out, it's gonna attack! Green breath this time. Yeah, uh huh. This is the dragon's breath. I've taken baths harder than this. I'm not even denting. It's not even denting the tanks. And that'd be because it's not denting at all, nor is it burning. It's breathing life. Oh, what's happening? Grass, flowers, vegetables? But oh, look, it stopped the tanks. Terrible's breath covers the earth with vegetation. So Terrible's breath is the power of life. It's the breath of life. Its power stopped the tanks from their tracks. What? Grass? Burn it! But it's tangled up with all the internal systems. Burning it won't help. My tank division defeated by weeds? <laughs> Not so tough without your little tanks, are you? You're still welcome to fight, but tell me, if the Grimoire wasn't a match for my blade, what chance do you have? <laughs> now, what's it going to be? Forces! Pull back. But, your majesty, the tanks won't move. Then we'll walk back. Yes, your majesty. They're all walking back. They look a bit ridiculous, actually. Yes. If the Grimoire wasn't a match for my blade, what chance do you have? <laughs> you even had me scared! Hey, cut it out. To be honest, they decided to fight. I don't think we just stood a chance. You mean, you were just bluffing? Well, yes. <laughs> Raguna. Raguna, where are the tanks? What happened to the Empire? There's no need to worry. They fled back to their country. Really? Raguna, your strength is astonishing. Well, actually, it was terrible, or rather, the power of nature that drove off the Empire. Are you saying that nature's power prevailed over their army? Precisely so. Yo, Raguna! Xavier! All the others are coming, too! Raguna, is it true that you defeated the tanks? You're a beast! So you really are strong, Raguna. You're incredible, Raguna. I didn't do it by myself. Incredible, Raguna, to defeat an entire army. Were you hurt? I was also so worried. You saved our town. Thanks, Raguna. Raguna, you were so brave. Like a hero. Thank you. You took out the tanks? Raguna, no way! Raguna, thank you so much. If it wasn't for you, Raguna, this town would have been destroyed by now. The Earth is always watching all of us, Raguna, and you have nothing to be ashamed of. So this means that you're stronger than those tanks, right, Raguna? Cool! You saved the lives of Nicholas and the other children. Thank you. We're holding a celebration of your honor tonight. I'll be trading, of course. Bravo! Not even those tanks were a match for you, Raguna. You're amazing! Now the time of peace... Now the time... Now the town is at peace again. Thank you. You're almost as powerful as a god now, boy. Raguna, thank you so much for protecting this town, and everyone. I've never seen anyone like you before. You're the stuff that legends are made of. As a minstrel, I would be honored to compose a song about you. I should at least say thanks, so thank you. You are truly brilliant, Raguna. Now I can once more feast on delicious cuisine. To stand up against such an army without fighting, it just goes to show how powerful the land is. I'm curious to learn more about you, Raguna. You're so... mysterious. To think an entire division of tanks could be halted by mere weeds. The power of nature. Perhaps I should start believing in that power. You're everything I'd hoped you'd be, Raguna. Oh, come on.
Everyone adores you. It seems to me you'll be happiest living here, right, Raguna? Norad Kingdom Between Dragons. I've returned from the surface. Welcome back. So, what about him? The boy you saw? Did you see a potential master swordsman to communicate with the dragon gods? Well, I made a bit of a miscalculation. I see, a potential master swordsman of royal blood. Yeah. And there was also the chance that he was your brother separated from you as a child. So sad. Yeah. But more importantly, I'm thankful for being allowed to have terrible freed from underground. We must keep the ambitions of the Empire in check. They're trying to rule the Earth with machines. People have to live in harmony with the Earth. They don't understand that. I feel obliged to do something. Yeah. You must work on keep you must keep on working hard at it. You're the only one who terrible trusts. Yeah. That's right. Live in harmony with the Earth, Raguna. Raguna's actually a prince. Those comments from Rosetta at the beginning of it, saying that we were like a knight. It's very true. Also, we just hoed an already hoed field. Yeah, that's how I feel when I try to hoe something that's already hoed too, Raguna. <laughs> the credits finally roll. We beat the game. At this point, there's actually a decent amount of stuff to cover, but we'll be doing that in some bonus episodes. After the credits play and I'm able to move around again, I'll ship the items we made today, but otherwise, it'll be a while until I can make more of these videos. I'll probably be playing through the entirety of the next year, just recording certain events and making people like me a bit more, getting everyone to max so I can do just final touch-up on people do all the marriages. I find this game to be charming. I really think that this game is deserving of a remake at this point. This and the second game definitely deserve this remake treatment, and the other games deserve to be ported to modern console, whether it be the Switch or PC or any of those things. I think that these games are lovely, and I really wish more people talked about them and played them. Most of the topics on Rune Factory is just about the fourth and the fifth one that's upcoming. There's a little bit of talk of, like, Rune Factory Frontier and Tides of Destiny slash Oceans, if you're over anywhere except for America. And, uh... It's just kind of sad that the first two games get no love, and the third game gets very little. Uh, it, it's, you know, it's just how I feel about it. I adore these games. So, the positive response from the series has been pretty heartwarming. I've had a few people commenting on videos saying how they really enjoyed these things and they'd love to see more and asking what I was going to be covering and what kind of weapons I'd be making, etc, etc. I know there are better weapons than the, uh, the uh, Rune Shield and Rune Sword, but they are slower weapons and I feel like the Rune weapons actually really fit Raguna. It's actually possible to make the... I believe it's called the Fourth Element, and it has uh, it's a two-handed sword that deals all four elemental damage at once, so you're dealing something like five times the damage. It's really cool, but just not something I wanted to use. It's not necessary, especially in this one. It's just too easy to get to max level and too easy to max out your stats. With future games, I may be thinking about how to best handle situations like that, whether I believe something to be more fitting versus more powerful, but in this one, I thought it was fine. Happy Ring, a Hero Certificate, and Rune Sword and Shield. It just felt right. It's weird, though. Raguna is actually a returning character. He's actually the main character of Rune Factory Frontier as well. So we will not be done with Raguna just after this game. Um, 
it will be, you know, a couple games until I play that. So we don't expect him to see him again immediately, but that's fine. He's a prince. That's neat. That was a cool little thing that they did at the end, and I wish it had a bit more... I guess... I don't know quite what I'm trying to say. I, I wish it had more effect on the story. I wish it affected this game a bit more and also affected the story of the next game. But Ivan just felt like it wasn't necessary to even tell Ryuna. Which I guess is fair. He's living his life and he's really happy where he is. So that's the end. We're here. It is the 4th. It is noon. And... Let's see what people have to say. You're so brave, Raguna. I knew I had good judgment. Before we go talk to everyone else, the sandwich. Vegetables and other ingredients enclosed in bread. Very easy to eat. It's not worth a huge amount, but it's a meal. And it has been shipped. Um, like I said, we're done with the game. Happy Ring. Guards against all abnormal states. Wear this to ensure happiness. Plus 80% power, topple, poison, seal, and paralysis resistance. Here a certificate. Plus 15 strength, minus 10 intelligence, plus 5 vitality, plus 60% power and topple guard. Only one who acquires unsurpassed power can possess the certificate. So, as far as vegetables go, we just have the phantom crops, which I will be covering. The art of attack, defense, and magic. I'm not sure if I've spoken about this. These do not exist in this game. They were planned to exist and were scrapped, I guess, last minute or something and left in the shipping list. It makes it so we can never truly complete the shipping list, but just as a note. All of the food except for the turbo sashimi, fried turbo, and corn of the cob. We need to grow some more corn and we need to catch Turbo. I'll be doing that in a bonus thing, just covering those. It'll be a short episode, but it'll just be catching those and then making those easy. The Recovery, Healing, and Mystery Potions. Honestly, they shouldn't be on this list, in my opinion, but, you know, you can never ship them. I've already drinking them, so it counts. The Turbo, of course, a fish I haven't caught. And finally, these items. The monster medicine does not exist in this game, because your monsters do not get sick in that way. The White Stone, Lapis Lazuli, Holy Book, Rollabooty, Grimoire Scales, Grimoire Sword, Stolar Chalice, Sunset Road, Round Rock, those are all event items. We have not actually covered every single one of those. I will be doing... Um, I believe there's just one left that I haven't gotten, I'll have to check that to be sure. But the Holy Book is its own event, which would take a couple weeks to finish. So I'll be handling that. Alright. Then let's talk to everyone in town. A toast apiece! Please, come in. Now we can finally get on with our lives. Now I can focus on my work again, I... Hello. I'm thankful for today's peace. Life has finally returned to normal. Hello. I wonder when my father's gonna build a house big enough for the three of us to live in together. Oh well, having two homes is kind of fun too. I'm glad he's happy. Hello. Thank you so much, Raguna. You saved the town and everyone who lives here. I can kick back and have a drink again. <laughs> Those two alcoholics. That poor child. She must be over at the beach. Going out to the beach, each. There's nothing better than life at peace. Hello. Mr. Raguna, I'm glad you and the others are safe. I'm so glad the land is at peace again. You really are something, Raguna. You know, Raguna, you really are something. Come on in. As you saw before we even talked to him, Thanks for coming. show me your wares. The spring seeds and goods. Cherry grass seed. I'm not sure which of these I've actually started growing, but it takes two months to grow. Okay, 
cherry grass, lamp grass, the blue crystal, which I may already have. I'm gonna have to check that to be sure. And the emery flower. This is the one that the little dragon can actually drop, so you don't have to get it there. I was just hoping to because it takes a full year to grow. Summer seeds. Iron leaf, clover, fire flower, and I know we have green crystal seeds. That's not something I'm willing to debate about. I've definitely gotten those as drops. Both green and red crystal, I believe. Noel grass, autumn grass, pom pom grass, and red crystal. We don't need red crystal once again, but I'm going to be growing all of these as well. Those are all the new seeds that he sells. I don't actually know if he sells anything for special goods. I don't believe so. I believe all this was here already. Come on in. Our town is at peace again, and we owe it all to you, Raguna. Ah, oh, thank you. It wasn't just me, though. It was everyone. Thank Mist for trying to pour water on my head or whatever. <laughs> no, Lynette was actually out there. Raguna, this town owes you. Thanks. So, Lynette. I barely had a chance here, but I somehow carved out life for myself. Lynette is... a bachelorette, actually. She is part of the reason why I said I would go back to every single event and cover some stuff that I wasn't able to cover the first year. And she's part of the reason why I wanted to get it done so fast so I wouldn't have to play a third year of the game just to cover the events. Or at least not every event. Hello. This is great. I can finally get stuck with a good old feast. Hello. Uh, Mr. Raguna, you're so strong. Hello. There's nothing like living in peace. Okay. Is anyone at the park right up here? At the town square? Yes. Hello. Now we can play again, right? Hello. I somehow feel like I was born on the other side of the ocean. Oh, she won't say it right now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's back to work now. Alright. Fair enough. I respect that. So, I'm gonna cut up to three real quick to see what she says, and then we've spoken to everyone. Finished harvesting all those. Oh man, I'd say that was quite an experience! I mean, it's not every day you get to fight an entire empire. Blue Crystal Seed Plant. And now I guess I can just do this. Dude, I ran out of water. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Let's try this again. Unless that's really just as much as that level does. It is. Okay, never mind. I guess I have to do a fully charged one to be able to do that. Good to know. The little things you don't realize. And the emery flower will be planted right here. Hello. Peace is the greatest, paths are the greatest too. She's very single-minded. Just all about paths all the time. So the Noel grass will be planted right here. The autumn grass will be planted right here. And rather than planting on the other side, where I don't currently have anything growing, I will take out this axe and chop all these down, so give me just one moment. Okay, and the pom-pom grass will go right here. She's not here. Oh, it's Wednesday, right. I needed to come in here anyway to water my crop, but completely forgot. I still believe that Grimoire is around somewhere. It technically is. Even though I sent it back, it then fully matured into its full form and started flying around doing that, which means it probably is just guarding over the land here, and I just walked through poison. Of course. Well, it's a good thing I have this antidote. I keep on me because I keep doing that. Okay. I'll put the iron leaf right here. I'll put the clover right here, and the fire flower right here. 
Now, I think I can water all of them if I do a full charge. Cool. Easy. Now, we have a promise to keep. I told her we'd take a bath again at some point. I don't want to be a liar. Should I take a bath? Heck yeah. What? There we go. Just for you. Alright guys, next time with the Rune Factory, it's gonna be a bit different. I... I'm going to be doing a cut around, kind of like what I did with uh, my time skip thing, but a bit more direct. I'll be making videos about certain topics and just trying to cover the rest of the stuff that I could not cover during the Let's Play. Um, I believe the final videos I'll be doing will just be covering the marriages, because Raguna never canonically marries anyone, or at least not in Rune Factory 1. He is single when he leaves the town and the events of Rune Factory Frontier happen. Kind of a spoiler that Rune Factory Frontier doesn't happen here, but you know, it's fine. It doesn't matter. I will be starting, I think, Rune Factory 2 before I finish the bonus episodes for Rune Factory 1. And maybe another series, I'm not really sure. I haven't fully planned everything out. I've just been trying to have fun with this, and dang if it hasn't been fun. I'll see you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.